afternoon. Uh, there is some weather out there that we do have to keep an eye on. Yeah, it's upper four is, is in the sky. Let's uh, get that view. Mm -hmm. Sheboygan Falls headed west, Brian Goddard. This is the view. Uh, you're seeing those uh, cumulus clouds develop still. No rain up in Sheboygan County, but those clouds are developing rapidly, and so I would not be shocked to see uh, some showers, even some thunderstorms develop uh, along that line up there where Chopper 4 is. Uh, we are seeing that severe thunderstorm in northwestern parts of Dodge and Fond du Lac County. That has now moved uh, into Winnebago County and over Lake Winnebago itself, so there are no warnings in effect here locally. Uh, some scattered showers in northeastern Dodge County and down towards Germantown, uh, Menominee Falls as well, and then off to the the west. Uh, that's where most of the activity is. You can see it on Viper HD uh, a little bit better. You can see all this activity to the west of us. This is the uh, prime target for today. Once again, they had the tornado down towards Bagley late last evening, and there's another tornado warning. Uh, there was one uh, just north of uh, the Platteville area making its way up toward the Dells. That is a now looks to have expired, but there are severe thunderstorms southwestern corner of the state and then up to the northwest of us as well, up towards Wausau and up towards um, moving into the uh, northeastern part of the state as well. Let's take a bigger picture of this. There's a huge swath of risk for severe weather, large hail, damaging winds, and even isolated tornadoes for today and tonight. Uh, it includes Wisconsin and then all the way down into Oklahoma. There's two bullseyes in my opinion. One would be central Illinois, for the potential for some big time thunderstorms and tornadoes and then once again uh, into Oklahoma and southwestern Missouri. We're watching that area very carefully as well. Uh, as this front slowly inches eastward, I think the best chance for severe weather here in southeastern Wisconsin continues to be tomorrow late afternoon into the evening. The threat has been basically to the west of us the past several days. That's because that's where the front is setting up. It's slow moving and tomorrow it'll get closer to us. But with that said, though, Fond du Lac and Dodge counties have been added to the tornado watch until 7 o'clock this evening, whereas most of the state is in the tornado watch, except for extreme northwestern Wisconsin and extreme southeastern Wisconsin. What's helping us here is the lake. We're getting a little bit of an influence with that lake, so temperatures, while they're 85 degrees at the airport, it's only 70 degrees here uh, at the radio station and the TV station, so it has cooled down significantly. 82 degrees in Waukesha. You can see those clouds developing. It's humid outside. We have plenty of fuel out there. You can see the 80s on the map, uh, but right along the lake, it has cooled down uh, with those south to southeast winds. Winds continue to be gusty, 20 to 30 miles per hour, even stronger than that. Dew points are in the 60s. You can feel the humidity. It's a summer day outside, and with that, you're getting this instability, which creates the clouds, and they gradually develop into thunder showers and thunderstorms. Uh, we will see those storms probably until around 10 o'clock or so. Then some gradual clearing tonight, some patchy fog. Lows will be in the 60s tomorrow. We're back into the 80s, and as I mentioned earlier, a better risk for severe weather as that cold front gets closer to us. Here's your seven-day forecast really quick. Uh, we're looking for 82 tomorrow with late-day storms. Some of those will be severe here locally. Some scattered showers still in the forecast on Saturday in 77, and then cooler uh, for next week, starting Sunday, sunshine and 60. So we'll get back into a, a more cool and calm pattern after Saturday afternoon. Yeah, get all that crazy weather out of here, Brian. You got it. All right, JS on